प्रदीप ये तो मैंने नहीं करवाया था वर्क डन बाई पीई ये मैंने कभी बोला था क्या वर्क डन बाई पी so what we have done up till now <coughs> is that we know that there is something called inline integral now for those of you who still cannot grip or still cannot get a grip on the idea or the concept of the line integral uh, don't worry about it because as you will see that we are not going to actively use line integral we will actively use line integrals uh, when we are uh, studying electrostatics and magnetism so just to again uh, tell you quickly a line integral is something which is completely different from normal integration and a line integral is carried out over a vector function and a line integral looks like f dot dl where this is the vector function right we discussed at length what a vector function is and this is the line element which is nothing but a displacement right so to carry out this integration you require three pieces of information you require the initial and final points of course you require the value of f and you also require the path okay so carry out this line integral there is a way there is a method right which i discussed which you can again go over again you can look at it but the point is that the use of line integral for us is when we define work as a line integral of force the point is that when we define work as a line integral of force and we look at individual forces and we apply this definition this hard core mathematical definition of the line integral on this concept on this work done by you know uh, earth uh, then what is happening is what is going to happen is the result that we will get will be very very simple and it is the result that we have to remember okay if you can follow the mathematical process very good and if you cannot follow the mathematical process okay you still have lots of time to uh, to digest to, to to understand but what you cannot afford to do is uh, you know forget the result नहीं नहीं वो बहुत ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसेस है तो मैं तो रिजल्ट ही नहीं याद रखने का ये आ, ये आ, आ, नहीं हो सकता राइट ओके सो इट्स लाइक व्हेन यू आर वॉशिंग योर हैंड्स राइट आप वो डिटॉल का प्लंजर स्क्वीज करते हो लिक्विड सोप हाथ में लेते हो और आपका हाथ धो लेते हो राइट द वे दैट thing has been made is very very complicated and you never realize that main usko jo use kar raha hu kaise bana lekin aap haath to aaram se dho lete ho mobile kaise bana hai ye bahut hi complicated process but aap mobile to aasan se use kar lete ho so the mechanism behind uh, finding the work done by earth may be complicated for some may be easy for some but the result must be easy for everyone and work done by r is equal to mgh plus minus mgh okay, I'll, i'll write it properly in the, in the next slide 
so work done by earth is equal to plus minus mgh right where m is equal to the mass of the point particle remember we are only talking about point particles g you already know h and this is the most important thing h is the vertical distance between the initial and final points and plus implies uh, that we are that the point particle is coming down okay and minus implies that the point particle is going up <coughs> So this is easy to remember. Okay, this is again you have seen this before. And now we just say Vishwajit Kalti kar raha tha. Please don't make that mistake again. <clears throat> I will keep on warning you. This is not potential energy. Okay. Finally, of course, I am going to link it to potential energy. There is definitely a relationship between this and the potential energy. But what is it? Now you have to know. So this for us now is work done by Earth. It's a part of it. Why did you come here? Are you watching the video with me? Are you watching the video? 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 See, it does not matter who it is. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying he. बिल्कुल गलत बोला. Of course, सही बोल रहा है. भाई वो दिखाई दे. MGH. All your life. All your life in the sense that for the last at least two years you have been studying that potential energy is MGH. So I'm not saying you are making a mistake. What I'm saying is that you should remember the fact now that this is. Uh, this is. Uh, work done by earth it is not potential energy right of course there is going to be a simple relation between this and potential energy which we will see later on okay so we have done this what is the next force kya kya forces hoti hain inke liye hame work done nikalna hai kya kya forces hoti hain hamare paas mg hota hai नॉर्मल रिएक्शन होता है फ्रिक्शन होता है टेंशन होता है स्प्रिंग फोर्स होती है रिमेंबर माइनस के एक्स एंड उसके बाद से एक्सटर्नल रिमेंबर इसके अलावा कोई फोर्स आपको मैकेनिक्स में नहीं दिखाई दे रही अगर इसके अलावा कोई फोर्स दिखाई दे रही है तो वो मैकेनिक्स का चैप्टर नहीं है या एटलीस्ट दूसरे चैप्टर के एलिमेंट्स उसमें आ गए हैं ओके सो कांटेक्ट फोर्स समरी सेड कांटेक्ट फोर्स इज नथिंग बट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एन ऑफ एन एंड के नेवर गेट कंफ्यूज मैंने ये अलग-अलग लिखा हुआ है बट दीस टू फोर्सेस आर ड्यू टू वन वन ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सराउंडिंग सरफेस सो द वेक्टर सम ऑफ नॉर्मल रिएक्शन एंड फ्रिक्शन इज कॉल्ड द कांटेक्ट फोर्स ओके and again let me warn you please do not fall back to class 10th in definition ask yourself okay external agent devan kitni bar ask yourself that is this something you learnt in class 10 or is this something i have said okay now i know meri awaaz se kai logo ko neend aati hai aur mere ko khud hi neend aane lagti hai but the point is that you have to remember things which are being discussed here okay? so according to mechanics there are only five objects that can apply force on a system and these five objects can apply these forces on the system you will not see anything else if you see something else the chapter has changed and that is why these chapters are so important and that is why we take so much time to discuss these chapters okay 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर यहाँ पे फ्लूड आ जाएगा एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन दराउंडिंग तो हम फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स के डोमेन में चले जाएंगे बट द इनहेरेंट लॉज विल रिमेन द सेम न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन फर्स्ट लॉ वही रहेगा सेकेंड लॉ वही रहेगा थर्ड लॉ वही रहेगा वर्क पार एनर्जी जो आप यूज करेंगे वहां पे वो बिल्कुल यही रहेगा जो यहाँ पे हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं अगर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेस लगने लग गई तो वो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स का चैप्टर हो जाएगा मैग्नेटिक फोर्सेस लगने लग गई तो मैग्नेटिज्म का चैप्टर हो जाएगा राइट सो दिस इज फॉर द मोमेंट देन ओनली दीज फोर्सेस आर इन्वॉल्व एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस राइट दिस इज दिस इज लाइक ए कॉन्शियस मेमोरी सॉर्ट ऑफ टिक दैट यू मस्ट मेक इन योर हेड दैट when i'm studying fluid mechanics so i should know what 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 well i should know three things for sure i should know number one uh, what is the magnitude of force applied by a fluid on my system i should know the direction of force applied by, by the fluid on the system and i should know the work done by the fluid on my system teen cheeze hame work out kar ye teen cheeze agar hame malum rahengi to hum second law इफेक्टिवली लगा सकते हैं वर्क पार एनर्जी अभी हम पढ़ेंगे वर्क एनर्जी थियोरम वो हम इफेक्टिवली लगा सकते हैं राइट प्लीज नोटिस ब्रेकअप किया हुआ है दो में और ये छह फोर्सेस का मैंने आपको मैग्नेट्यूड और डायरेक्शन बताया था आधे के तो मैग्नेट्यूड ही अनोन रहते हैं और अब मैं आपको इन छों की वजह से वर्क डन बताने जा रहा हूं दिस इज इट दिस इज द जिस्ट ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ ऑफ द मैकेनिक्स दैट वी आर स्टडी ओके सो वी हैव डन एमजी एमजी इज डन नाउ we need to do work done by normal reaction okay i'll take a new page for this so work done by normal reaction okay so the thing is that just like you just like you and me just like you and me everybody hates constraints everybody hates constraints i would be very very happy in a situation i would be very very and you would be very very happy in a situation where on application of newton's laws you draw the fbd you draw the axis okay and you take the components and you write down a uh, summation of fx is equal to mass uh, into acceleration along x axis summation of fy is equal to mass into acceleration along y axis and that's it okay if you remember initially we did those equilibrium wale questions and almost all of you had an instant grip on it uh, because you knew that the forces will add up to zero right so all you had to do was draw an fbd and we had a very uh, lengthy discussion on drawing fbd and hopefully everybody has uh, you know got a got a good grip on that so ek bar jab fbd ban gaya aur mere ko malum hai ki object equilibrium mein hai sari forces zero hai then really uh, nothing uh, more was to be done okay. things started to get complicated when there was motion involved and especially there was uh, especially when there were two or more objects comprising a single system and these two or more objects were moving in such a way uh, that 
their interaction was influencing the way that they were moving right for example in the atwood machine agar ek block niche ja raha hai to dusra upar jayega agar ek block 5 meter per second square se niche ja raha hai to dusra 5 meter per second square se upar jayega so these two guys they are not independent of each other they are constrained to move in a certain way due to the fact that they are connected together they are connected to each other by strings right and we had such lengthy discussions if you remember uh, uh, even if you if, if you if you want to remember i don't want to remember but uh, if you remember we had lengthy discussions on ye ye string से अगर दो ब्लॉक जुड़े हुए हैं तो हम कैसे उनके मोशन को एक दूसरे से रिलेट करें और ये सब एक्सरसाइज का एक ही पर्पस है कि अगर मैंने एफबीडी ड्रा किया सेकंड लॉ यूज किया इक्वेशंस लिखे और ये इक्वेशन नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशंस जो हैं वो नंबर ऑफ अननोन से कम आ रहे हैं ऑब्वियसली मैं सॉल्व ही नहीं कर सकता मेरे को कुछ और चाहिए कुछ और इंफॉर्मेशन चाहिए और ये कुछ और इंफॉर्मेशन आपकी जिंदगी को नरक मचाने के लिए and uh, you you will be able to solve uh, the, the the problem right so just like you and i uh, everybody hates constraints right we want to be in a situation where the application of newton's laws is sufficient in fact this concept of work energy theorem that we are going to study was invented uh, precisely to get rid of the uh, uh, to get rid of the constraints how do we get rid of the constraints well you will find you will find that the work done by normal reaction let me not write it like this work done by normal reaction is equal to zero in fact any constraint force Remember, दो तरीके कंस्ट्रेंट हमने देखे थे एक हमने देखा था वेज कंस्ट्रेंट या नॉर्मल रिएक्शन वाला कंस्ट्रेंट और दूसरा हमने देखा था स्ट्रिंग कंस्ट्रेंट तो ये जो वेज कंस्ट्रेंट है ये कौन प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है राइट हु इज प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस वेज कंस्ट्रेंट वेज कंस्ट्रेंट इज बीइंग प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय नॉर्मल रिएक्शन ओके और हमने उसको देखा था एक दो तरीके देखे थे उसको कैसे हैंडल करना है बट हियर द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट work done by this constrained force of normal reaction is equal to zero never have to bother about normal reaction when we are applying work energy theorem right however however i will put a star mark here right and this is not like chemistry where there is an exception uh jahan pe bilkul hi gadbad ho ja raha hai aisa nahi hai there are a couple of cases where work done by normal reaction is not zero okay when will work done be zero let's look at the definition of work done well this is the definition of work done right so when will this be zero number 1 agar ye zero hai okay and this does not make much sense agar force zero hai to hum kya work done hi kya nikalenge koi matlab nahi number 2 and much more interesting is that we have a dot product here right now it is possible that the value of the dot product may be zero and if the dot product is zero then this means that the angle between f and dl are uh, is uh, 90 degrees right so f and dl are perpendicular to each other and this is actually what happens for normal reaction uh uh, uh ek baksa pada hai uh, floor pe maine usko kick kar diya dhakka de diya ya rassi band ke pull kar liya push kar diya push ko kiya lekin in each case normal reaction by the floor will be vertically upwards 
and the box on the floor will be moving parallel to the floor. Therefore, the angle between the normal reaction and the displacement is always going to be equal to zero, right? So if the dot product of the F dot DL, the things inside the integral is zero, then the work done will be zero, right? Now, I, I know uh, there will be some confusion in your mind problem Oh, sorry, sorry. So, uh, Kuli wala problem, Kuli does zero work or some. I'm going to bust, I'm going to bust uh, some of those misconceptions in time. So, when F dot DL, because we are actually integrating a dot product, and when the two elements of the dot product are perpendicular to each other, you know that the thing is going to be zero, right? Okay. Uh, Another point where it may be zero is when the initial point and the final point are the same, right? For, for example, in gravity, uh, definitely, uh, if I if I pick up my pen, uh, or if you pick up your pen and you know wave it around or wherever, and you keep it back to the place uh, that you uh, picked it up from, or even on the table that you picked it up from. Uh, then the work done by gravity will be zero because the value of h will be zero, right? And we have already figured out that work done by Earth is equal to mgh. Okay. So work done by normal reaction is zero, and this is because of the fact that normal reaction for most of the objects is perpendicular to the direction of displacement. But it may happen, it may happen that work done by normal reaction uh, is not zero because normal reaction is not perpendicular to uh, the displacement. So when is work done by normal reaction not equal to zero? So I'm going to show you two cases here. Okay, this one. I'm not going to prove uh, this. Okay, we are not going to prove this. It's just, it's just easy to remember. I don't want to complicate things. So case one is that we have, if you remember, we have a problem solved here. Case one. So let this be block one. Let this be block two. Now the normal reaction on block one is like this. Normal reaction on block two is like this. If we talk about the displacement, then the displacement of the wedge will be something like this. And the displacement of this block one will be very complicated. So let me just say that its displacement will be, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere like this. Um, somewhere. <coughs> I don't know, somewhere like this. So I will write here that work done by normal reaction on block one is not equal to zero. Work done by normal reaction on block two is not equal to zero. But work done by normal reaction, work done by normal reaction on block one plus work done by normal reaction on block two is equal to zero. Right? Now, when we are going to apply work energy theorem, uh, we are going to apply the work energy theorem on a whole system. We are not going to apply work energy theorem on the wedge two. We are not going to apply the work energy theorem on the block one. Okay? If that happens, uh, remember that you will be in trouble. Okay? 
So work done by normal reaction individually on these blocks is not equal to zero. And somebody may ask you a question. Please tell me whether the work done by normal reaction on block one and block two are is zero or not. And the answer is no, it is not. But the sum of work done by normal reaction on block one and two, that means that the net work done by normal reaction on blocks one and two is equal to zero. Okay? So when we deal with work and when we apply work energy theorem on this system, we are going to ask, okay, so what is the total work done on block one and what is the total work done on block two by whatever forces are acting on the two blocks. And then we are going to sum it up. We are going to say, okay, since we are applying the work energy theorem on the system, uh, I don't need the work done by forces individually on block one and individually on block two. I need the sum of forces. Uh, I need the sum of work done, <coughs> which has uh, uh, which has been done on block one and block two. So I'm going to sum everything up. Individual work done, nikal ke, I'm going to sum everything up. And when I sum everything up, okay, individual, individually, of course, these two guys, they are not equal to zero. But when I sum everything up, it is going to be zero. Okay, this is case one. Case two. Case two is that we have a lift the lift is moving up with an acceleration A and there is a normal reaction N here. So in this case, work done by normal reaction on the block is not equal to zero. Okay? It's not equal to zero. But it is very easy actually. It's not difficult. You can do it yourself. Uh, you can work out the normal uh, you can work out the work done by normal reaction one and two and then add them up so oh, constraint constraint lagana padega. so work done by normal reaction on block in this case is not equal to zero right but here it is easy to calculate because the displacement of the block will be vertically upwards as well okay. now i have been teaching uh, physics for i think uh, uh, 20 uh, 20, 21 years now and never have I ever seen a question where work done by normal reaction is not equal to zero. Never. Agar mere paas work energy theorem ka question aya to mere ko malum hai ki work done by normal reaction will be equal to zero. 99.999999 percent of the cases work done by normal reaction will be zero. <clears throat> I don't think you are ever going to see a question where work done by normal reaction will not be equal to zero. But agar koi aapke saath badmashi karna hi chahe aur bole ki nahi wo lift mein to object hai aur wo lift mein object lift upar ja rahi hai niche ja rahi hai. Now tell me the work done by normal reaction on that block. Agar aap se bole work done by normal reaction on the block plus lift then it's a no brainer that's zero. But agar aap se bole ki nahi work done by normal reaction only on the block nikalo then you'll have to work it out. Okay? But uh, believe me I, I, I have not seen a question like this. <clears throat> okay. Next is, please take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot or write it down better. I will wait.
very very good Okay, so I'm moving on now. Next is that we have to figure out the work done by each. Okay. So Work done by function Unfortunately, I cannot help you. And work done by friction must be equal to uh, the line integral of f of the However, however, there are a few there is actually one exceptional case where I can or we can actually figure out a shortcut. Now the shortcut will be uh, the shortcut will be very very conditional. That means that there will be very strict conditions under which you can apply this shortcut. Okay, so let's first. Forget about shortcuts and let's do the question as a line integral. So the block is moved up. Now, who moves the block up? How much work that that guy does? The block moves up. And as it goes from the initial to the final position, friction is acting on it. And I want to figure out the work done by friction. Right? So, this work done by friction is independent of uh, the, work done be, uh, the work being done by the guy who is pushing the block up. So we don't need to bother about that guy. Okay, so step number one. I should know the initial path, the final path, and uh, sorry, initial point, and final point, and the path followed by the party. And I should know the value of the force uh, on the party. I should know the value of the force on the part. That's easy to figure out. We know that uh, mg is acting here. We know that n is acting here. We know that friction is acting here. Somebody must be pushing it up. So, in this direction, we get mg cosine theta. So, this means that n is equal to mg cosine theta. And this means that f, which will be equal to mu n, it will be equal to mu n because the block is moving. If the block was not moving, then there is no necessity of friction being equal to mu n. So since the block is moving, friction force will be equal to mg cos theta. Right? So I know the three things. I know the force acting on the particle. I know the initial final points. I know the path followed by the particle. So now let's apply the... Uh, method. The method is that you divide the path into line elements. Okay? Here I'm only dividing into two line elements. I, I actually don't need to divide it into a line element in this case because it is a straight line. Okay? Curve is a line element. 
and then for every line element i need to write down the value of the force and the direction of the force so for this guy for this line element this is the force and for this line element this is the force right and the angle between the force angle between the force and the displacement is the same in both cases 180 degrees so therefore work done by friction which is equal to integral f dot dl now becomes cosine 180 degrees integral f dl right i hope everybody is following me here this is 180 degrees this is 180 degrees koi bhi doubt aata hai please do ask now f is mg cosine theta m is not variable g is not variable theta is not variable so it is constant so i can take that out of the integral as well right so this will be mg cosine theta integral dl what is integral dl anybody remember mu answer what is integral dl anybody remember yaad hai last class What is L cosine theta? Ah, yes, yes, yes. L cosine theta is this length of the wedge. In fact, L cosine theta is the horizontal distance between the initial and final points. Yeah. वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस कैसे आया था धनुष क्योंकि हमारे पास समथिंग आया कुछ कुछ आया वेयर दैट समथिंग वाज इक्वल टू एच इट वाज द वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इनिशियल एंड फाइनल सो वर्क डन बाय फ्रिक्शन वर्क डन बाय फ्रिक्शन equal to plus minus mu mg into horizontal distance ye shortcut hai but i will write with red here only if only if only if number 1 no forces perpendicular to surface number 2 no acceleration perpendicular to surface.
नंबर थ्री नंबर लेट्स फॉरगेट अबाउट नंबर यू डोंट हैव टू नीड नंबर लेट मी राइट इट डाउन नंबर थ्री नो if these three stringent criteria are met then you can apply this uh, then you can apply this uh, shortcut otherwise you cannot okay so there should be no forces perpendicular to the surface agar forces perpendicular to the surface ho jayengi n ki value mg cos theta nahi rahegi isliye wo condition hai no acceleration perpendicular to the surface agar acceleration aa gaya perpendicular to surface so again n will not be equal to uh, mg cos theta right aur agar curve aa gaya to tab bhi gadbad ho jayegi right so all three conditions must be satisfied uh, for us to apply this uh, shortcut please write this down please write this down aur aaram se likhna hai so the trick to uh, i'm sorry agar maine pehle nahi bola but i will i'll say this today and i'll keep on saying this the trick is to write this down in your copy without looking at the screen okay without looking at the screen look at it once understand what you have to write down look away and Write everything down in your copy. Or if you are attacked, then then you can always go. So write this down, calm down. Write this down, calm down.
हो गया लिख लिया ओके सो आई एम मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नाउ बढ़ो आगे नहीं लिख लो लिख लो हाँ चलो so those of you who have finished so the block is taken to the and then back to the starting point find the work done by नहीं गलत आंसर है आसान होता तो मैं नहीं देता Please follow the steps that I have uh, done in the previous uh, question. Okay, please follow the exact steps. Very good, sir. Yes.
Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, so first let's define the path. A initial point, A final point, okay, and you may think that the work done will be zero, but it is not. So let me draw the path. Now I'm drawing two separate lines for visual representation. Otherwise, the two yellow lines should be on top of each other, really. Then let's divide it into DLs. Let's take only two at a time. So DL, 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 DL. And then for every DL, we must draw the force. The friction force is like this. Friction force is like this. And the moment the block starts to come down, the friction force is now up the inclined plane. Right? So here the friction is like this. Here the friction is like this. And the angle between the displacement and the friction force is the same for all dl. So work done is equal to integral f dot dl is equal to cosine 180 degrees common agya, cosine 180 degrees common agya, integral f dl. Now, irrespective of the fact that the block goes up or down, the friction force value that remains the same and that is mu mg cos theta that does not change the direction of the friction changes but the magnitude of friction never changes last question mu mg cosine theta bahar integral dl bacha integral dl kya hai what is integral dl now we know Integral DL is the path length. So this becomes minus 1 into mu mg cosine theta okay, into path length, which is 2L. So this is minus 2 mu mg into L cosine. Up. Many of you, I think, most of you would have thought that the answer to this is zero. Right? Why zero? Because it's gone there. Then you have to do zero work done. But it's not like that. Work done by friction uh, will not follow the class 10th definition. That work done is equal to force into displacement into cos theta. Displacement zero is work done by zero. No, no, no. It does not work like that. It does not happen like that. Okay? We have to be very, very careful. That is what you are upgrading. Okay? That's where you are upgrading your knowledge. So work done by friction does not become zero if the initial and final points are the same. If that was the case, then you have a car from home and you have to go back to Mumbai and you have to Fuel to continue work done. Why not? Right? That, that is not going to happen, right? Up Gauge, Adise Bahajaki, Hunke, Wapas Auge, Jansi Shuru, Ete, Mahika, Wapas Aki, Kapan, Aki, Jerni. But fuel has been spent. Okay. Work has been done. So friction is a dissipative force, and therefore friction, work done by friction, can never be zero. Other displacement hua hai. Okay. Other displacement hua hai. So work done by friction to hoga hi. Okay. This work done by friction will appear as one of the components will appear as heat. Will appear or may appear as light. May appear as sound. Okay. So jab hum uh, दो पत्थर को, especially flint stones को, अगर हम एक दूसरे को strike करते हैं, right? Just hold on, एक मिनट. Hello. 
क्लास ले रहा सो व्हेन यू स्ट्राइक टू फ्रेंड स्टोन टूगेदर राइट द सर्फेस ऑफ द टू स्टोन स्लाइड ओवर इच अदर वेन दे स्लाइड ओवर इच अदर वर्क इज डन बाय फ्रिक्शन and this will convert into a uh, light spark ya sound okay or heat no chal aage badh raha hu main i'm changing the slide please take a screenshot please write it down Anybody willing to take a guess? In fact, I don't want you to take a guess. Okay? I don't want you to take a guess, and I want you to, to figure it out yourself. how are you going to do this problem so we are given an atwood machine where one block is 2 kg the other block is 3 kg and we are asked find the work done by tension on the two blocks in 2 seconds after the system is released from rest now if you remember when we were studying atwood machine is ka ek acceleration ka term aaya tha aur ek tension ka term aaya tha मैंने बोला था कि आपको याद रखना है क्योंकि मैं दो महीने बाद पूछूंगा और ये दो महीने आ गए और मैं पूछ रहा हूं एक एटवुड मशीन जिसमें मास एम वन एम टू होता है एक्सेलरेशन क्या होता है और टेंशन क्या होता है ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन फिगर इट आउट फॉर वन ब्लॉक यू विल राइट m2 g minus t is equal to m2 a for the other block you will write t minus m1 g is equal to m1 a and you can just add and you can tell me the acceleration right so now is having the right answer or they are having the right answer and then you can put this value of a back into this equation one equation and you can work out the value of t but you see that takes time and in this question you have been asked to find the work done अगर वो मेरे को याद नहीं है तो क्या मैं कर सकता हूं बिल्कुल कर सकता हूं बट इट विल टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड व्हेन यू आर गिविंग अ टेस्ट ओके इट इज दीज लिटिल थिंग्स व्हिच मैटर सो आइदर यू रिमेंबर और अदरवाइज फाइंड द टेंशन एंड फाइंड द एक्सेलरेशन वंस यू हैव फाउंड द एक्सेलरेशन देन यू कैन टेल और यू कैन राइट कि दो सेकंड में ये टू के जी ब्लॉक कितना ऊपर चला जाएगा और थ्री के जी ब्लॉक कितना नीचे चला जाएगा नाउ यू हैव द इनिशियल पोजीशन ऑफ द टू के जी ब्लॉक द फाइनल पोजीशन ऑफ द टू के जी ब्लॉक यू नो द पाथ ऑफ द टू के जी ब्लॉक यू नो द टेंशन ऑन द टू के जी ब्लॉक यू नो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ टेंशन ऑन द टू के जी ब्लॉक 
please find the work done by tension on the 2 kg block and then repeat to find the work done by tension on the 3 kg block. Is the tension constant? Yes, it is. Is the angle between displacement and tension constant? Yes, it is. If these two conditions are met, then you can use the class 10 Fala formula directly. 100 meter kaha, 2 second mein chala jayega bhai. दोनों में निकालना है बहुत है इधर से भी उधर से भी मतलब two kg का भी और three kg का भी I want two answers Ah, good. What is this? Yes, it करो भाई का टाइम होड़ी ना है आ दानो गुड यस सो एक्सेलरेशन इन एन एकुड मशीन इस एम टू माइनस एम वन upon M2 plus M1 into G. Right? It is very easy to remember. So in this case, this will come out to be G by 5, which is equal to 2 meter per second. 
and tension is equal to 2 m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2 right which will come out to be uh, 2 into 2 into 3 into 10 5 a 2 over 8 into 3 24 newtons so i don't have to do this so 3 kg wale block ka final position idhar aa jayega 2 kg wale block ka final position idhar aa jayega path followed by the 3 kg block path followed by the 2 kg block tension on the 3 kg block tension on the 2 kg block right? so this is tension this is tension this is displacement this is displacement so work done by tension on 2 kg block will be equal to tension into displacement into cosine 0, which will be equal to 24 into displacement, which will be equal to half into acceleration into time square into cosine 0, which is 1. So this will be equal to 24 into 4, which is 96 joules. And similarly, I can find out the work done by tension on the 3 kg block. And it will be equal to tension into displacement into cosine 180 degree. And since tension is same, magnitude of displacement is same, this will come out to be minus 96 degrees. Okay, I hope everybody has understood this. I hope everybody has understood this. Fortunately for us, please never get confused. Fortunately for us, we can put the 10th formula. क्योंकि हमारे पास कुछ कंडीशंस हैं जो बिल्कुल फिट बैठ रही नंबर 1 द एंगल बिटवीन फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज कांस्टेंट नंबर 2 द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इज कांस्टेंट नंबर 3 मोशन इज हैपनिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ये तीन कंडीशंस अगर एक साथ हैं तो एफ into displacement into cosine theta will be the over done. Agar tisri condition nahi hai, motion straight line mein nahi hai, lekin baki do conditions hai, to work done will be equal to force into cosine theta into path length. Okay. In fact, this uh, uh, question ke liye hum sira laga sakte hai. Force into displacement, uh, force into cos theta into path length. Okay. So what do we take away here? What do we work done by tension on the 2 kg block itself is not zero. Work done by tension on the 3 kg block itself is not zero. But like, like I have said, when we work energy theorem apply, karenge, it will always be on a system and therefore the work done uh, will be uh, by tension on the system will be the sum of work done on the 2 kg block by tension plus the work done by tension on the 3 kg block which in this case in fact in every case will come out to be zero okay? so therefore work done by tension which is the second force of constraint remember पे टेंशन होता है वहां पे यहां पे टेंशन होता है वहां पे कंस्टेंट होता है राइट कंस्टेंट फोर्सेस की वजह से वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू सी अगेन मैंने वहां पे स्टार मार्क लगा दिया स्टार मार्क का मतलब है दिस इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ ओके इट मे बी दैट वर्क डन बाय टेंशन इज नॉट जीरो बट लाइक आई सेड अ 50 like i said uh, 
99.99% of the time, the work done will be by tension. इंटीग्रेशन फॉर्मूला बहुत कम अप्लाई कर रहा हूं डोंट वरी बहुत कम बहुत कम अप्लाई कर रहा हूं नेक्स्ट इज वर्क डन एंड लास्ट फॉर टुडे इज वर्क डन बाय स्प्रिंग सो वी नो दैट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ डॉट डीएल एंड दिस लुक्स वेरी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड but in one dimension okay so supposing i say that i'm not talking about three dimensions at all i'm only talking about one dimension so in one dimension this will become w is equal to integral f dx ab aap uspe dot product aur uska koi baat hi nahi aata to one dimension mein aata प्लस माइनस यहां पे आई कैन ऐड सो फॉर ए स्प्रिंग एफ रिमेंबर इज इक्वल टू माइनस के एक्स देर फॉर वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ माइनस के एक्स डी एक्स फ्रॉम एक्स आई टू एक्स एफ एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू हाफ माइनस इलांगेशन और कंप्रेशन ऑफ द स्प्रिंग and xf is the final elongation or compression of the spring does not matter elongation hai ya compression work done does not care about elongation or compression it just wants to know by how much is it elongated or compressed does not care whether it is elongation or compression I will stop here. मेरी हिम्मत नहीं आगे बढ़ने की देखा तो जब मैं इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्ट्स पे बोलूंगा तो वर्क डन बाय टेंशन इज नॉट जीरो लेकिन जब मैं सिस्टम के लिए बोलूंगा तो इट इज जीरो ठीक है ना
चलो गाइस आई विल आई विल लीव यू नाउ वी विल वी विल डिस्कस दिस अगेन द नेक्स्ट क्लास सो टू थिंग्स नाउ रिमेन वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम वी हैव टू डिस्कस एंड वी हैव टू डिस्कस वर्क डन बाय एक्सटर्नल एजेंट्स राइट एंड बोथ ऑफ देम विल टेक इंडिविजुअली वन वन क्लास वर्क डन बाय एक्सटर्नल एजेंट विल टेक वन क्लास वर्क डन बाय uh work energy theorem will take one class in the next class we will do work energy theorem subsequent class we'll do work done by external agent and i want to do that because then ultimately i'll introduce you to the idea of potential energy okay chalo bhai bye bye mai jata hu acha okay